Hi guys, so recently I have gotten really into my night routine and I think it's actually positively affected my life even more than my morning routine. So I wanted to share with you guys what I've been doing and how this has made my life like 3,000 times better. Hi, by the way, I'm Kinsey. If you guys are new here, subscribe. Also check out my Instagram. Recently, I found myself to be an evening worker outer. I normally work out as soon as I wake up in the morning, but lately I've been really enjoying doing it at night. So I switch in to my workout clothes. The set is from Outdoor Voices. I head downstairs. I'm always cleaning. I'm literally always doing some sort of laundry or dishes or whatever. So I clean up a little bit of the kitchen and then I make my water and I head downstairs to my treadmill. So for my workout, I do 12 through 30 pretty much daily and then I'll normally do something else. This is a treadmill routine that I got from Lauren Geraldo and I actually really, really love it. It's harder than it sounds and it's very rewarding. I take the dogs on one of their like eight walks of the day and then I head inside to feed them some dinner. After this, I am gross, so I go shower, I wash off all my makeup, which I normally will do before I work out. I think I just forgot today. And I will start to try to fix my skin. I don't know why, but I've been breaking out a little bit. Actually, I think it's just hormonal. So I tried this Ordinary Peel, which actually really did help my skin, and it's so inexpensive. The Ordinary is so good, and it's so cheap. Then I will take a nice relaxing bath or shower. This is what I've been using on my hair lately and I've been loving these products. This is what I use obviously on my body, not on my hair. Um, this night I was actually self tanning. So this is my favorite self tanner. It's a Luxe Unfiltered by Savon Ayla. This stuff is so good. It's a gradual self tanner. It's nothing too crazy. So that's why I love it so much. And then you just add these drops to your moisturizer and it gives you a really natural color. I talked about this before, but it is just the best. Then I use my leave-in conditioner spray and I brush through my hair with a tangle teaser and it makes my hair smell really, really good. Um, after this, I was just heading downstairs. This is my favorite time of the night. I just get in comfy clothes. Most of the time it's pajamas, but this day, for some reason, I put on like other clothes. I don't know. This is my favorite time of the night. I head downstairs, I light some candles, I play some jazz music, I clean again, no surprise here. time where I start to kind of wind down and relax. I always like making myself a fun little drink, non-alcoholic drink. This is my favorite. These are recess drinks. They're hemp drinks and they really help me calm down, wind down. If you deal with anxiety, I really recommend them. Um, I drink them all the time. But this night I decided that I was going to make some vegan chili. So here I am. I just listen to music. I cook for like an hour. I drink my drink. Like I just have literally the best time all by myself. It's my favorite time of the day. not something I do every night. I just felt like doing it this night. I was sent this puzzle that is so cute. I've seen them all over anthropology and stuff too. I think they're a really good gift, but I started a puzzle, guys. I didn't even do these over quarantine. So um, it's still sitting on my table right now, but I'm, st I'm planning on finishing it, okay? I just thought it was so cute. So again, I'm just watching Gossip Girl and I'm doing my puzzle in peace and I'm really loving my life. Alright, so finally dinner is done. I add avocado, the Trader Joe's glaze on top of this would be so good. I'm actually gonna have this for lunch as leftovers. And I just sit down, I eat my dinner, and then I take the dogs out one last time. My cute little pups who are currently driving me insane, but I love them. Then I just turn everything off, I blow out all the candles, and I make myself like a little sleep drink. This is liquid IV. I'm really into my drinks, and this really helps me 
to go to bed. So I love that. Um, again, I just turned everything off and then I head upstairs. So again, I go to my room and I light some candles. I just like every room to feel really good and homey. I set my alarm for normally around seven-ish. This lip sleeping mask is my favorite thing ever. I used to just use it as a lip balm and now I actually use it for as a lip sleeping mask and I love it. This pajama set is from Target, but I wear a matching pajama set every single night and it's just, it's like a must have for me. This room spray smells so good. I cannot even explain it, guys. It lasts so long and it smells so freaking good. Oh my gosh. So anyways, I turn the lights off. I really wind down at this point. Um, I have one of those like art TVs, so that's like a print, quote unquote, but then I do a little fireplace on my TV. I have my candles going, I drink my drink, and then I get to reading. I'm currently reading We Were Liars, which is part of my book club for this month. So if you guys didn't know, I have a book club on my podcast, and we are reading We Were Liars. The episode will be up within the next two weeks, kind of recapping the book, but it's super fun. It's a great book, and that is what I'm currently reading. After that, I will just chill, wind down, and go to sleep. inform all these other choices you make and um you know and going back going to budgets though what's interesting is budgets are like diets no one wants to be on one like it's really hard to have like a true budget night we've rarely seen that work but what we do at the gym is we we do budgeting, but it's kind of a sneaky way of budgeting. We call it goals-based budgeting. So we find out all the things you want to do in life. So do you want to buy a car? Do you want to get married? Do you want to have a fur baby, tattoos, whatever these goals that are that could cost money, we, um, we want to identify the goals and put a cost to the goals. And then it's just you know doing math to see how do we get there. And the biggest thing I want to say to people is anybody who's listening to this too, is you, if you don't have goals and we see this a lot with people, they're like, well, I don't know what I'm capable of. I feel like I'm living paycheck to paycheck or, you know, I don't know if I could buy a house. I don't know if I can do this or that. And what we always encourage our clients to do is take a step back and think about if money wasn't a factor, what would you want to do in life? So do you want to travel more? Do you want to own a home? Like, do you really want these things? And then let's put a number to it. And then we start working on this different plan to get there. Cause it's just like, you know, it just, we use a lot of uh, fitness analogies, but it's like deciding you want to run a marathon, right? And maybe you've never run before. You're not going to run 20 plus miles the next day, right? You're going to do some training. You're going to run a 5k. You're going to like work up to it. You're going to take breaks and, and have break days. And, you know, there's a whole plan to do it. We, it's the same thing with money. So set the big goal, that 20 plus mile goal, and then we're going to break it down.